the things that we're interested in, that we're interested in paintings that were created uh, by somebody who intended to make some art, but it's clear that we say something went wrong, either either in the in in the technique or in the uh, in the execution or in the original concept. So sometimes poor technique might result in in a compelling image, and uh, in that case, it's something that 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 will we will enjoy. Uh, I'll show you an example of of what of of, of that. Um, well, here's an example. This this is this shows some poor technique. This is called no no visible means of support. Can you see that? So you know you wonder what what, what was the be the best the best art is is the is the one. Are the, are the pieces where you, you scratch your head and you say, well, why did this person do this? And you know, what was this person thinking to, to make these flowers like this? Uh, so that, that's poor technique. And we have, there are a few more here that I can show you that, that but, but just, if a, if a picture shows poor technique, that itself does not make it something that's really interesting to look at. You know, it, it might be amateurish, but not necessarily uh, interesting. So, but if the poor technique results in something that's interesting, then that's something that, that I'm interested in. And there's one that I'm thinking of here, that right here. This is called Annie's Down, Downstairs Secret. It shows some pretty poor technique, but it's also, it's, it's resulted in an image that's pretty compelling. Yeah, in this case, this was, this was, you know, one thing we do not collect, another thing we do not collect, we do not collect, for instance, kitsch, we do not collect uh, uh, tourist art, we do not collect thing, and, uh, paintings by children. Yes, many people donate their own work, and, and what I started to say was, some, I, I, sometimes I had the feeling that people are just being silly trying to get into the museum, in which case I, I do not accept the work. It, Sometimes there are painted people who are artists who do a lot of work, and they realize that something just went wrong. The piece did for whatever reason the piece did not work, and so they they realize that ours is the proper venue. Either Sunday painters or, or th this woman. Th there's also a movement uh, in Europe. You might know more than I do about it called Art Brut, where it was. It was and it's my understanding that that. that a lot of the art, a lot of the pictures that were collected in, uh, as art brute were, were pictures that were made by people who had uh, men, men, who were mentally challenged, mental patients, and so you know it's it's hard to know sometimes. This th this woman Mary Newman is represented in uh, outsider art, and I think she might be considered art brute. I have never met her, but just from my correspondence, I get the feeling that she might qualify as. Art brute. This is a, a a dog. A bone. It's called bone juggling dog wearing a hula bone juggling dog wearing a hula skirt. She has. She's done it in a number of other a number of other pieces. We present. We present everything very seriously. Some some people find find it very uh, engaging. You know, I just, we're, we have a Facebook fan page, which I, I just put up last week. And within a week, we have, oh, we have over 1,200 fans. And um, somebody made a, every, almost every day, I'll, I'll, I'll put up one of our works with, with our interpretation. And then fans around the world are free to comment on, on the... Uh, what I put up. So just yesterday, I put up a painting that that got a lot of a, a lot of response, and um, one of the things that someone said was that I just came back from a week in Paris, uh, seeing all the museums in Paris, and this is this is a um, this was perfect. This is welcome relief. It's called Muse Museum of Bad Art Masterworks, and it's 
in the book, just like in in, in the uh, in the gallery, we present everything as a straight museum. This is a real art book with beautifully beautiful printing of, of uh, showing. Yes, it's very good quality, and we. Well, this is a very interesting one. This is called Gilded Nude. This was donated from New Zealand, and. Um, well, I, I've written interpretations for all these pi pictures, and my interpretation of this picture is that the viewer is immediately struck by the young woman's very large arm. There was an article in the New York Times this weekend, which uh, I will send you a link, and you can read. It's a, sh a, sh a short article, and not, not about us. There was an article about the state of painting in, in uh, current state of painting in the, in the in current scene, which she calls post abstract representational painting, and any one of these paintings would be something that if I if I found this painting I would be. This is somebody sitting in a bathtub with something coming out of her head. I, I don't know what that is, and uh, this is this is another image. If I found these in my in a thrift store, I would um, I would buy it. I would buy it. And but so, but I, I guess I mean I don't I don't know too much about these specific artists. But if they're coming through art art schools and being treated being and being shown in important galleries, and somehow their work is considered important, and the stuff you know the pieces that I have are still treated as outsider art, it was found in a thrift store for, uh, for sale for something like $4. Uh, you're familiar with Rubik's Cubes, I'm sure. So this is called spewing Rubik's Cubes. Do you know the verb spewing? This is spewing Rubik's Cubes. The artist presents a bold post-cubist image that compels the viewer to make direct eye contact. This is one that was done by somebody who was taking an art class. And she was very proud of this work. She, th she thought it was terrific. And she said that all her friends were, would, would laugh when they came into her house. And so she realized that maybe it wasn't. I'm a musician. A musician, I, I play. I play the guitar. I've, all, I've been a, a uh, working musician all, all my adult life, and for the past 20 years, I have done uh, entertainment with, with children. I have, I have, uh, I can show you a picture of my children's. I play the guitar and I sing songs and I do shows with children and I make things out of balloons. So I am Mike the Hat Man.